Hi, I'm Tim Garcia. I'm a fellow of the Casualty Actuarial Society and a member of the joint CAS-SOA Committee on Inclusion, Equity, and Diversity. And I'm Jeff Drzgowski, a fellow of the Society of Actuaries and also a member of the joint committee. Tim and I co-chair the committee's professional education working group. And one of our goals is to encourage diversity at the continuing education programs hosted by the CAS and SOA. Before we discuss that, we wanted to start with a little background on the joint committee. This committee was formed in 2019, and broadly speaking, we work to promote our profession as the STEM career of choice for candidates of all perspectives, experiences, and backgrounds. A strong sense of belonging such that our members fully contribute to advance the profession and equitable opportunity for education, research, and leadership for our stakeholders. To achieve this vision, our committee invests in resources and programs to achieve the greatest effect on inclusion and diversity for SOA and CAS members, candidates, and potential future members in areas of awareness, recruitment, advancement, leadership, education, professional development, and culture. Our professional education working group works to raise awareness about diversity and inclusion issues and share best practices with the CAS and SOA memberships. We do this by working with continuing education planning committees to develop sessions on diversity and inclusion issues for our various events. We also want to encourage our planning committees to develop diverse panels of speakers for our events. And that's the purpose of this video. We appreciate you taking the time to watch and listen. Actuaries are already very familiar with the value of DNI. Our employers incorporate DNI into company strategies, from, com from recruiting to business decisions, and they also offer employee resource groups, seminars, and training on DNI. DNI initiatives are growing within the insurance industry as we move beyond simply recognizing that it's the right thing to do, to the realization that our market de demographics are evolving and our customers are increasingly diverse, so it's also good for business. Within the actuarial profession, our memberships are increasingly diverse in many aspects, so it is also good for business for the future health of the CAS and the SOA that everything we do considers diversity and inclusion for a new generation of actuaries. As volunteers planning our events, you play a key role in this. Consider how DNI matters to millennials and Gen Y. As our profession grows younger, we need to understand and incorporate DNI best practices in our organizations. According to a study by the Institute for Public Relations, 47% of millennials consider the DNI of a workplace an important criterion in their job search compared to 33% for Gen Xers and 37% for Boomers. And as research analysts at Goldman Sachs said, the Census Bureau is actually forecasting that over half of kids in America will belong to a minority race or ethnic group by 2020. So diversity in the traditional sense of the word has actually become more the norm. Beyond the broad expectations of our members that our organizations will strive for diversity, consider these specific benefits of recruiting a diverse panel of speakers for the session you are planning. A diverse panel will result in dynamic discussions with a wide range of opinions that will be shared with our attendees. A diverse panel will offer role models for member attendees who can identify with the speakers. As you recruit diverse speakers, you will develop a wider network and a set of connections to use as a launching point for expanding your speaker database. And finally, a diverse panel will demonstrate our profession's commitment to diversity. Considering all this, we believe that it is imperative to strive for diversity among the speakers at our continuing education programs, but we need your help. As you recruit speakers, we'd ask you to strive for a panel that represents a variety of demographic dimensions. We hesitate to specify those dimensions because when you create a list like this, you inevitably leave something out. 
So we'll say that dimensions you should consider, but not limit yourself to, include race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, physical ability, neurodiversity, gender identity, and gender. And diversity certainly is not limited to demographics. As we strive for diversity of thought at our events, you can also consider these additional speaker characteristics. Professional experience, consider providing an early career perspective as well as that of seasoned executives. Job function, avoid a panel made up entirely of actuaries. Can you include other types of industry professionals in your session? Geographic distribution is important. Can you include speakers from outside the United States who will bring a diverse perspective to the topic? And lastly, when considering people who are introverts and extroverts, it's natural to think about the social aspects of these personality traits. But don't assume introverts you know aren't willing to speak and share their ideas. A good speaker does not need to be an extrovert to be effective. Of course, we understand that you need to recruit speakers who can bring expertise to your session topic, but we strongly encourage you to strive for diversity as you recruit those thought leaders. Note here that we're really aiming at diversity among speakers. So having diverse moderators who simply introduce the speakers does not go far enough. Challenge yourself and step outside your comfort zone to find these speakers. So how are you going to put this to action? First, we'd encourage you to discuss recru recruitment tactics that will strive for a diverse set of speakers within your committee. Map out an approach for this new recruitment strategy. You may need to adopt new strategies because the speakers you seek to engage may not be in your typical sphere of outreach. For example, instead of identifying a topic and then finding the speakers, Collaborate on exciting topics with a diverse set of speakers you've identified. We're sure that as the event planning committee become more conscious of recruiting for diversity, this will become part of your natural process and integrated into your work. And as you strive to get there, we're here to help. There are many res resources available to you for your speaker ideas including the Joint CAS SOA, Committee for Inclusion, Equity, and Diversity, your employer's employee resource groups, the International, International Association of Black Actuaries, the Organization of Latino Actuaries, and the SOA Women's Forum. In closing, on behalf of our committee, we want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And more importantly, we thank you for supporting our efforts by representing diversity in your continuing education events.